Hi, beautiful. Curtain bangs seem to be the hottest trend going on right now. Everybody's trying out some curtain bangs. Curtain bangs are on the rise. Ooh, they're really cute when they're done well. I mean, they're quite chic. I love a good curtain bang. Everybody is also cutting their own curtain bangs. And sometimes it doesn't go that well. Like this video right here. I can't see what I'm doing, clearly. And luckily, cutting your own curtain bangs doesn't need to be that hard. It's actually quite a simple thing to do. And I'm gonna show you today just how you do it. How to do these beautiful babies right here. This is what you're gonna see today. Oh, she looks stunning. A nice swooped out curtain bang right under eye level. It's a low commitment type of look because you know, you're not cutting short bangs. They can grow up pretty fast. It's not that big of a deal unless you do it wrong and then you end up with really ugly bangs. But our goal is to not do that. We're gonna do actual pretty bangs today with a few simple steps. And I'll also show you how to style your bangs because that is also a very important thing to know in order to make the bangs look good. You don't want to look like this. Let's cut some curtain bangs today and hopefully you follow my directions clearly and hopefully it goes well for you. And if it doesn't, don't blame me because you probably did something wrong. Let's all take a deep breath. All right, let's do it. So in order to cut yourself some beautiful curtain bangs, you're gonna need a comb. That's really important. One with very close teeth and one with separated teeth like this. That way you can comb out your sections. Then you can get a really nice grip with the smaller teeth, okay? I mean, listen, if you don't have that, you can use a brush maybe. It's just not as ideal. Scissors, guys, shears. Something that actually cuts your Hair. Not kitchen scissors, mm -mm, not craft scissors, not like leg shaving razors. I don't know what you guys are using these days, okay? But we're gonna want cutting scissors. You can get cheap ones, disposable ones. I don't know what the f they make, okay? I feel like a f hairdresser to you. Do I look like that? I'm gonna be using also a couple clips, but you can also use a scrunchie, a hair tie, anything like that will be fine. And then you can wet your hair or you can use a spray bottle to wet your hair. And those are the items you'll need. So let's get cutting. Let's welcome my client for today, Miss Manny Quinn. Not to be confused with her younger sister, Miss Manny Quinn. Different tones, the way you say it. So step one is gonna be to have wet hair. You're gonna want that to not be dry. So I'm gonna just dampen up this front section with some water. <laughs> Is it water or is it alcohol? You'll never know. We are gonna comb our hair in front of our face just like this. The next step is to do a middle part. Everybody loves a good middle part these days. We all know those are also tr very trendy. Apparently if you do a side part, you're ugly. I mean, I do enjoy a, a good middle part, I do, but you know, sometimes side parts can look fun and cute. We're parted in the middle. I hope I haven't lost you quite yet. We're gonna take the bangs back about two or three inches up to you, depending on how thick you want them and depending on how thin your hair is naturally. I'm gonna go about two inches back and I am going to take these down to about the end of her eyebrow. Depending on your face shape, that might be the middle of your eyebrow. Might be the end of your eyebrow. If I only went to the middle of her eyebrow, it'd be a very thin bang, okay? That's fine. If you want a very thin one, go for it. But she told me she wants a thick one. She wants a big difference, a noticeable difference, and that is what you're gonna get. All of this hair is going to be her sort of bang section. All right, so you should have this little triangle section right here And we're gonna clip the rest of the hair out of the way just like that All right, or you can just take off all the hair into a ponytail. That's also fine And now we're just gonna do the same exact thing on the other side So we're gonna check where the other side is and bring it down to the same exact place So your hair should look something like this now you have one large triangle because I basically just combed the two triangles together And now you got one big one and it's still nice and wet Having it wet is gonna help with cutting it straight because when it's wet, it weighs your hair down and it gets rid of all your texture and your frizz and your whatever else is going on either. I don't know what's going on with your hair, girl. It's gonna be best to cut your hair wet. Now, if you're unsure that you took the right amount of hair, you're gonna bring that part back. And I like to just kind of go like this and eyeball it. Kind of imagine what the bang is gonna look like. Bring it to the side. And if you're like, okay, that's a good amount of hair. When that's cut, that'll look nice. That little swoop right there, that'll look nice. You're in a good place. If you pull it back like this and you're like, whoa, girl, that's too much hair, then don't do that. Bring it back a few steps with me. So we're gonna hold our scissors like this. So the third finger right here, I think that's the ring finger and the thumb. We are gonna comb this section nicely, okay? Really, really nicely. Get all those tangles out, make sure it's still wet. We are actually gonna take this entire section in one. Now, normally I wouldn't do that, but we're trying to make this easy for you guys, okay? Then you're gonna decide what length you want to cut. Normally I like to go right under the cheekbones 
distance for the curtain bangs. That's usually a good height to start with. You can always go shorter, you can't go longer, all right? So I'm gonna start off a little bit longer than that, maybe right at the nose, and I am going to cut across. I just made that first little snippy snip. I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna recomb it, and I am going to cut another one. All right, I can't see what I'm doing because I am on the side of her head, but at least you guys can see. Last cut. Now feel free to go longer or shorter than I did. That is totally up to you. But starting off here for a curtain bang is usually a good place. I wouldn't go too far up or else it's gonna look like just regular bangs. I'm gonna just face my girl towards me and I'm gonna take a strand from each end and just make sure that they are the same exact length on both sides. They look great. And if they weren't great, we would just do a little doo -doo, snip, snip, snip. We can always perfect our work once we're done, okay? Now you're doing a great job. I can see you following along and I am so damn proud of you. You did it. You did your first snip. This is gonna be a home run, okay? For both of us. It's gonna look beautiful. All right, so now we have our bangs. Oh, she's already looking banging. We are gonna add a little bevel. You see how it's so straight? It's like, girl, you got a ledge. I hate ledges. I don't wanna stand next to them. I'm scared of heights. I don't want them in my hairstyles. I don't wanna cut them like that. So we're gonna part the hair. Then we're gonna over direct the hair across the other side, opposite of where the part is. We're also gonna make sure our fingers are parallel to the section up here. So now you're getting this moment. Let me show you that again. Pick up the hair, I comb it parallel to the parting, and then I hold my fingers parallel to the parting. So you're gonna get something like that, where it goes from short to long. And now all we have to do is cut off those longer pieces. So now when we let go, we're gonna get a beautiful angle to the fringe. Gosh, it's beautiful. So now it naturally is going to the side like that. And that is how you do a gorgeous curtain bang. So that is what we just cut and that is what we're going to cut now. We're gonna do it the same way, all right? Take a breath. <sighs> and if your hair is getting dry, please put some more moisture in that shit. We're gonna take the hair, comb it parallel to the part. And now we're just gonna cut off that hair. And then once we got it back down, it looks something like that. Now to check our work, we're just gonna take the two middle pieces and make sure they're the same length, which they are, and then the two end pieces and make sure they are the same length. It's not that hard if you do it right and follow my directions. Now that we have that part done, the biggest, most dramatic part of all, I am now gonna just blow dry her hair for you, get it all nice and cute, and then we're gonna go in and detail the bangs. I'm just gonna throw in some electric rain moisture cream just to rehydrate her ends, make everything super smooth and easy to blow dry. This will make your hair feel like actual silk. Get it right in those bangs. It's not gonna make her hair greasy, but it's really gonna hydrate and make everything so easy to brush through and just add amazing amounts of shine. Just wait to see how glossy this is about to be. And for extra shine and up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit of heat protection, we're gonna use force field heat shield. This is gonna help her style last all day, all night, and throughout the week. All right, and now we're ready to blow dry. I'm just gonna do a little halo section. Okay, on to the cushion bangs. We are gonna use a one and a half inch ceramic round brush. You can also use a flat brush for this. I am just gonna take the hair and lay it right on top of the brush and blow it downwards and out, okay? We're not trying to let the curl sit there like that and really get a bevel on it. We're just gonna do a quick little because we're not trying to get curly cues on the ends. It's not my thing when it has like those super beveled ends. You'll kind of see how I like it once I show you, but yeah, I just like to do that. And another good thing to do if you have a really annoying part, like side part that won't go away, you can bring the hair to one side and blow dry it and then the other side and blow dry it to get that part to go away. Okay, and it should look something like this. It's not too beveled, but it's a little bit. We're not getting like a ton of height up there, which is good. All right, you can brush or comb the bangs back and then part them in the middle. Okay, so here is our curtain bang so far. They're looking cute, but they're not quite right. It's looking very heavy and very disconnected. What we're gonna do is section out those bangs again, and we are gonna take 
these, bring them all the way up to the top of our heads. And now just be careful and cut into the hair. This will slightly give you some separation on the ends of your hair. But again, just be careful. Don't cut yourself, go slow and just do it little by little. Now, one other thing I'm gonna do, which is another optional thing, I'm just going to take my shears and go in there and cut the tiniest amount of hair just to further thin out her fringe. If yours is already looking thin, please don't do this, all right? Her hair is very thick. So I just wanna get rid of a little bit of that bulk. You can see it's sitting a lot better than this is. Let's do the same thing on the other side. All right, now for the finishing touches. You're doing so great. We're gonna let down the rest of the hair. Part off about a half an inch of hair. I like to blend my hair in with the rest, so I'm just gonna take it like that and just follow the end of the fringe down to the bottom of her hair, just giving her that little bit of connection right there in the front. Again, we're just sectioning about a half an inch out at the front, holding it with our fingers, seeing where the end of the hair starts, and then just going down at a slant and slowly cutting out some of that hair as we slide down the hair. So now what's gonna really escalate this look and finish it all off is some styling. Let me put some waves in her hair and I'll show you guys the finished look. I'm gonna be using my Dyson flat iron to do this. And here is the final look. I'm obsessed. I did a little messy wave on her. Give her a little volume up here, a little boom, boom, boom. And she has these beautiful curtain bangs going on. I'm literally obsessed. I love that it's giving her this subtle 70s vibe. Oh, the 70s can just f me up any day. Like, so cute. Look at the way the bangs just seamlessly blend into the head. That is exactly what you want to try to achieve when you do this to yourself. Like, look at the way it carves out her bone structure. Are you kidding me? If you don't have any cheekbones, get curtain bangs. It'll give you cheekbones. Girl, stop, you're doing too much. And then when you mess it up, it it's still so freaking cute. And then we can just mess them up a little bit, do a little oomph in the top, give it that more sexy look. Whatever your style is, baby, this is how I would wear my curtain bangs. With that little piece just hanging down. It was giving me life before, but now it's giving me absolutely everything I wanted. So that's the look. Thank you, Miss Manny Quinn. I love ya. You look fabulous. I hope you like your new bangs. So I hope you guys follow my directions. I can't wait to see you guys with your new curtain bangs. If you end up giving this a try, please make a video or send me a photo. I would just love to see what you do. There's nothing better than when I see you guys trying out my tutorials. It's so fun to watch. I just love it. I don't know. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Hit the subscribe button and you can also hit the like button and the bell icon while you're there. You guys can follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles all around me go for it bing bang boom if you guys want to shop any of the products used in today's video these wonderful products this is what i use electric rain and force field you can shop them right down below and you can also check us out on instagram at xmondo hair as well as my hair color line at xmondo color on instagram and you can shop everything color and hair care right down below at xmondohair.com if you guys want to live your extra life with me make sure you check out my live your extra life merch it's all right here it's fabulous it's gorgeous you can get it now at xmodohair.com. It is also linked below. You can text me right at this number right here. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see your messages. And yes, I will be replying to a few of you guys if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Maria. She says, hi, gorgeous. I'm from Brazil. Hi, gorge as. I was wondering if you could give me some advice about my hair. I have very long curly hair, never done anything on him. And I really love it. I was hoping that you could give me an opinion about it. If I should change something, color or cut. My birth is in two months and I think it's time for some changes. Love you too, girl. Girl, your hair is so pretty. My recommendation, cut some layers, get some balayage highlights going on in there to give you some depth and cut a couple inches off the length. Those three things will give you the most magical curly hair ever. Mm. Yes, try that out. If you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo and good luck. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.